Oh, right, everyone, as we get into our Monday morning, we're going to be talking about some chilly temperatures and then some improvements midweek before it kind of falls back off again. So a lot of ups and downs in your forecast as we are kind of in that transitional zone, getting into the first couple weeks of spring, but winter still not quite done just yet. In fact, it's really going to feel like winter 25 currently with that calm wind, no wind chill to report at this hour. But if we do pick up on a light breeze out there this morning, I believe that wind chill temperature is going to drop back into the teens. Certainly going to need the winter weather gear out of the bus stops. 25 degrees during the next hour, and we're going to hold steady in the mid 20s going through the morning. Very chilly as the sun comes up just after 8 a.m. And then as we get through the afternoon, it's really not going to be much of a warming trend today. We've got 44 later on this afternoon in Indy for a high around 46 in Greencastle and 47 in Bloomington temperatures today well below average and even as we head into the evening tonight cloud cover will start to increase but temperatures still start to fall 40 by 7 and then we get into that 10 o'clock hour late tonight back to around 34. Now tomorrow this is when things are going to start to change a bit temperature wise we're really not going to notice much of a difference as far as the afternoon goes for Tuesday still going to start off near freezing in the morning but with some increased cloud cover tomorrow afternoon Temperatures will rebound into the mid 40s, so pretty similar to today. It's what happens late Tuesday night into Wednesday that's going to be the game changer. Here's how this plays out as we get into your Tuesday afternoon. There's that freezing temperature in the morning. Could see a stray shower developing along a boundary that's going to lift in for our Tuesday afternoon, but then we really see these changes take place. So I want to pause here right around midnight. This is early Wednesday morning. Notice your temperatures here still in the mid 40s. Getting into the overnight, the actual warm front's going to live through. So by the time we wake up Wednesday morning, temperatures are going to be warmer than when we went to bed Tuesday night. 53 degrees at 7 a.m. Wednesday. We've already got some scattered showers in the vicinity as that warm front continues to lift through. And then we've got a lot of dry time for our Wednesday afternoon, and that's when the temperature will surge back into the low to mid 70s for daytime highs Wednesday afternoon, but that is all in advance of a cold front. Check this out. This storm system going to bring a line of showers and thunderstorms in getting into our Wednesday evening. We're thinking mainly after about 7 p.m. Showers, th storms are going to be a possibility here into the overnight before that cold front arrives. And then on the back side of that system, temperatures will fall through the course of the day on Thursday. And not going to rule out the potential of again a brief wintry mix Thursday night into early Friday morning. As far as the severe risk with those storms go, it looks like that's going to stay mainly south. We've got a level one for the southern tier of the state as we get into our Wednesday evening. So we'll be on the lookout for that potential of a few stronger storms within that line, but we're not thinking this is going to be a major severe weather situation uh, by any means. Behind that front, temperatures will be much cooler. In fact, I believe we're going to spend most of our Thursday in the 40s around 44 for your high there and then 50 on Friday. And as far as recovering, we're really not going to see much of a warming trend with daytime highs still in the low 50s through next weekend.